SEO or PPC, which one truly delivers the best bang for your buck? In the next few minutes, you'll discover the surprising truth about these two powerhouse strategies. But first, let me share a real world example of a business that skyrocketed their revenue by choosing the right one. Stay tuned because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which strategy is the best investment for your business. If you're looking to grow your organic SEO, make certain to check out the Traffic Accelerator system. The link is in the description. It is completely free. You will get a complete audit for your website and you can essentially see where you are lacking and where you should be focusing your time and efforts on as well. There are a couple case studies on the actual page as well, so make certain to check that out. The link is in the description. Now, back to the video. So if we take a look here, as you can see, we've got lawyers in Manchester. I've just searched that and the top four positions we are looking at some sponsored slots now these are basically ppc so every time i click on them or somebody clicks on them they will be charged um, a certain amount of money now the good thing about ppc is the fact that if you are just starting out if you're a brand new business this is probably the, the go-to strategy because all you typically need is a well-converting landing page. So if we actually take a look at one of their landing pages, as you can see here, they've got some social proof in. They've built a well-designed and well-put-together landing page to get your uh, through the questionnaire and basically get your contact information. With PPC, there's not as much skill or as much time involved as there is with SEO. So the guys with the bigger budgets will basically be up higher at the top. So for example, injurylawyers4u.co.uk, they're probably spending the most right now to be seen at the position one. Um, whereas Will, willsandlawyers.co.uk, they're probably spending a little bit more, hence why they're in position four. So that's how the actual bidding strategy works when it comes to PPC. Now, there are obviously certain things that you should be worrying about, such as quality scores, making certain that you are actually providing that person that's clicked on your result for, um, you're actually providing the correct answer. Um, so if they are looking for a no win, no fee solicitor, well, do you actually provide that as a service? Because if you don't, your quality score is gonna go down. Um, if you're also not mentioning that in your um, prominent areas, such as your page title up here, your actual H1 on the page, certain things like that will impact your quality score, which will then impact how much you will be spending at the end of the day. Now, with PPC, the one con about it or the one bad thing about it is obviously it's pay to win. So whoever's paying the most is essentially winning the most amount of leads or the most amount of inquiry and inquiries. Now, if say, for example, it is costing you £25 or $20, let's say, to generate an inquiry. And if say you are able to profit from that one inquiry, um, let's say $100, then brilliant, you're, you're actually making some cash. So PPC is very much down to your numbers and how good your back end is as well. If say, for example, you're an e-commerce store, uh, the best piece of advice I can give you is to definitely have upsells and cross sells on checkout. So for example, are you able to deliver somebody's product quicker? Are you able to upsell them a product? Let's say you are a leather shoe shop. Are you able to upsell them on checkout a leather polishing toolkit or a leather polishing actual polish for the shoe? Because if you can, you're able to squeeze that money out a little bit more. So let's say you've spent £30 um, generating that person to actually visit your website. If you can maximize how much you are earning from that person, then brilliant. PPC, PPC is a no-brainer for you at that point. Um, and that's what a lot of these guys will be doing, especially if you take a look, start taking a look at guys that are doing PPC for e-commerce stores, etc. That's what you want to be doing to maximize your PPC. Now, one thing to bear in mind with PPC is obviously I've just clicked some of these uh, listings here. With PPC, you, every single click doesn't necessarily mean that they will end up converting. The same goes with SEO, but it kind of hurts you a little bit more as a business owner because you've actually just paid for that click. So I've just basically clicked on this guy's PPC listing. I'm sorry if, if you are the owner. Um, but 
there are hundreds and millions of people every day that do click on these um, listings, these PPC listings, and they don't end up converting. So make certain that you are taking a good look at your CRO, your conversion rate optimization, the rate of which your website um, is converting at. And if you can optimize that by 2%, 5%, 4% every single time, then you end up going to essentially going to decrease your PPC spend in every, every single month by doing that. And the next thing that we want to take a look at is SEO. Now, the SEO listings are down here. Um, in some cases, they are a little bit more hidden. Now, one thing to bear in mind when you are comparing PPC to SEO is the fact that SEO keywords they do garner a little bit more clicks. People trust them a little bit more because over time, it do, it's not that hard to set up a PPC campaign. Whereas with an SEO website, you're going to need to spend a little bit more time, which is probably one of the cons of SEO is the fact that with SEO, it might take 6 to 12 months to start seeing some good results and some consistent traffic and clicks through to your website. Now, does that mean you should completely avoid SEO? Definitely not. Um, I actually tend to push people into doing both SEO and also PPC because, again, if you can if you can get a double listing, which basically is, say, for example, if if we were um, these guys and we also had a natural SEO listing here, there is the opportunity of getting double the amount of clicks in time, but. If you are a company just starting out, let's say you've just set up a business and you just want inquiries right now, today, uh, PPC is probably the way to go. Um, but that being said, if you want a long-term strategy for gaining clicks over, let's say, a six-month period or let's say a 12-month period, you should start investing into your SEO as well because the good thing about SEO is you can stop doing SEO after 12 months and your results will maintain themselves. Whereas with PPC, as soon as you start, or sorry, as soon as you stop spending on PPC, that's it. You're not getting any more clicks. You're not getting any more visits. Um, so just bear that in mind when you are factoring both in. With SEO, yes, it is a long-time strategy or a long-term investment, but it's going to get cheaper over time. Um, especially once you start uploading more blog articles, once you upload it, upload and start more service pages. So if we take a look here, these guys, they've got all, all of their service pages listed. They have got all of their locations, so the areas that they serve listed as well. Now, what would I choose and where would I start? So if I was, let's say, for example, if I badly desperately needed more leads let's say i have more sales staff that are they they just don't have um, a consistent flow of inquiries i would definitely be looking to do ppc but in time i would also split the money as much as i can to start reinvesting back into seo and one other thing as well with ppc is the fact that you can pinpoint people um you can also do it on facebook ads as well if you guys are looking into facebook ads you can um, target people in certain areas. So, for example, I would like to think whoever set up these campaigns for these lawyers, they've only set them up in Manchester because if they are only located in Manchester, they can obviously only deal with Manchester-based leads. Now, that is the, the benefit when it comes to that. So, with, with PPC or any form of paid advertising, you can drill down into certain audiences. So it, with Facebook ads, you can you can only show your ads to people that own a dog and they are over the age of 25, let's say. Let's say you wanted to try and sell them dog insurance. You can go a little bit more niche. Now with SEO, it is basically a lot more intent-based. So one thing I will say with um, SEO is that the people that come through SEO, they're probably going to be the highest quality of people, um, whether it, if you're comparing it within PP, like Google PPC or Facebook ads. With Facebook ads, it's almost interruptive marketing, so you need to catch their attention. Whereas if somebody searched on Google, lawyers in Manchester, and they, let's say they don't trust the PPC listings, maybe they've had a bad experience in the past before, which happens quite a lot, 
they will naturally go down to the first uh, position and they will click on Mills and Reeve and they will essentially fill out the contact form and inquire with you. So you need to think about all of these different strategies. And another strategy as well that you can go down is Facebook retargeting. So going back to the CRO, the conversion rate optimization, a quick tip to actually boost your CRO is to just run retargeting ads. So if you think of it, not every single person is going to inquire with you. Uh, they, Let's say, for example, they might be on a lunch break. They might have just quickly searched lawyers in Manchester and they've clicked on your website. And they might have just been finishing up on their lunch break and they think, right, I'm going to inquire with Mills and Reeve at a later date. But they might end up forgetting. A good way to get them back onto your website is with Facebook ads. So you can set up what's called a retargeting campaign and anyone that has visited your website in let's say the past seven days or the past 30 days, you can start spending some money. Um, it's also pretty cheap to do on Facebook to get them back onto your website. And that is a very, very good strategy. It kind of goes hand in hand with SEO and also PPC. So if you are looking to spend money on SEO or PPC, set aside some money for Facebook ads as well because that will increase the conversion rate optimization or the people converting and turning into clients or customers for your brand as well. So that has been the differences of SEO and PPC. If you guys do have any questions or if you think I've missed something out, drop it down in the comment section below. And as always, if you want a free 15-minute growth strategy call for your website, make sure to check out the link in the description or casual-dash.com. Thanks.